Yo, Ma, you fine as f. Me? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh my god. Do you want my number or something? I know this is crazy, but do you, do you want to have some Like right now? Like if you. Okay, I'm gonna give you my keys, but give me 10 minutes. Um, I'm gonna just go to my place, take a quick shower, get all cute and sexy for you, and, and then I'm so ready to. You can bust inside me. My tubes are actually what high, the so this is perfect. I, what I, the I'm, I'm fuck? Host, and that's totally okay. If your is that good, you can just live with me. So, yeah, I'm so excited. I'll see you soon. Thank you for approaching me. Thank you. Oh, not the Naruto run no, at the my. end. Fellas, if you approach a woman and she's that up front, practically throwing the box at you, what you gonna do? For me, that's gonna scare me. If it's too easy, I don't want it. Because to me, that means you threw it at somebody else. And it's a lot of dirty out here that'll take it and give you something and i don't want to catch what he gave you what's the craziest thing y'all done <laughs> we robbed a russian man <laughs> we robbed somebody from russia we how was that too too much we detail scared. but then, we ain't got all scared. the old just started off and i just know like he was I'm not, we're not going into too much detail no. but we robbed the russian he man. tried to he, he thought he was gonna kidnap us so we got the fuck out of there first with his With money. money. With his money. I'm not going into too much details, but we robbed the Russian. Baby girl, that, that's all they needed. That's a confession right there. Why do we get on camera and just be incriminating ourselves? I'm not going to lie to y'all, bro. If I was the police, man, y'all be making a job so easy. If I was the police, I'll be on social media all day building a case on you. It'll probably take me about three to four years to be captain. Oh, yeah. You can't say that and just walk past me like that. I can't. What's your name? What's your name? My name's Charles. So, Nikeela. Nikeela? Nice to meet Where you. Where you from? Yeah, okay. Well, let me get your number, you know what I'm saying? What you doing after this? We don't know what I'm trying to figure out. You know what I mean? I got you. I'm like, I'm just out here. Yeah, text your name to me. I got you. Don't forget. All right, then. I'm safe. You better later. vlog and be safe, okay? Yeah, you be safe, too. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. God. I knew it, Chad. She looks she took. I remember them days. I remember them days. Now I love being married. Don't don't get it twisted. I love being married. Ain't nothing like having in-house poom poom. Back in the day, you ain't know when you was gonna get some poom poom. You be talking to mad girls, and you might have one come through, then you might have another one come through, but then they talking to other people too. So then eventually they start flaking off, and now you gotta rotate your whole team. <sighs> I don't miss that. I don't miss being a GM, bro. But sometimes. Hey, y'all. We're out here for the Every Fit Weekend Bar Crawl. We are now hitting Wet Willies. You're behind. We already started. Got some food in our stomach. We're ready to go. So if you're not there, meet us there. All right? <laughs> I don't want to say nothing disrespectful. She looked good, you know what I'm saying? You could tell she hit the gym, all that. But she remind me of Erica Badu. And boy, let me tell y'all. Miss Badu? <laughs> let me go ahead and like the pause. I'm going to turn quick I say something crazy. Boy, me and my wife went to an Erica Badu concert, dog. I understand why she getting these lives and they make full u-turns they get the burning incense and 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 all types of stuff what i understand huh. bro ain't no way Ain't no way. I'm going to keep it 100. I would have jumped out the tree. It's a lot of y'all out here. Natural motherfuckers. Y'all tree huggers. Who ain't never really hugged a tree before. But y'all want to sweeten your juice with honey. Well, this possibly where you, they getting your honey from. Well, I know they have bee farms and stuff like that. I, I know that. But possibly, this is what might be going on. You ever sit back and think... 
Because every day we go to work, and I know some of us have not the best jobs in the world, and some of us have the best jobs in the world, and we still complain. But imagine if this was how you had to make your living. Sometimes you just got to be grateful for our situation. We are 10,000 subscribers away from 100K. <laughs> I still know it's a few of y'all that watch these videos religiously that aren't subscribed. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. And make sure you got the notification bell selected to all. That way you can get all the notifications when I upload these videos. Stop playing with me. Hit that subscribe button. Let's get right. Let me set the record straight. Building does not mean that a man is paying all your bills. Just because it start with bill doesn't mean bills. Building is not paying bills. That man ain't gonna never get ahead. You and that man ain't gonna never get ahead if you're trying to get him to pay all your bills. You got the same two feet. You got the same two arms. You got the same two legs. Get your feet and beat that straight. Get your shit together. Let me set the record. This video just made my day. As you watch content on the internet, it's the same things being repeated over and over and over. It's a bunch of dudes that finally came up on some money. Now they call themselves alpha males. Then you see content with women who say things like, if you can't pay my bills, I'm not giving you the time of day. Ooh, girl, he look like he pay bills. And if you say something like, well, I'm not finna pay your bills, or we can go 50-50, it becomes a problem because now you broke. Imagine somebody that wants you to pay their bills calling you broke. That just doesn't make any sense. And the crazy thing about that is you would have a situation where a man is paying his bills, your bills, taking care of the household, but now you're upset because it feels as though y'all are in quicksand. Y'all can't get ahead. Y'all can't get ahead because this man is struggling to take care of both of y'all. He's struggling and you're not helping. Ladies, if you notice that your man is having a hard time, if you notice that your man is struggling, that's where you jump in and say, all right, it's a team effort. Let me see where I can help. You know, as a New Yorker and as a teacher, the one argument that really pisses me off, the one battle is the Bronx and the Brooklyn beef. So let me explain this to you because I want you to listen to this because y'all adults are really affecting our kids. And you don't even understand what you're doing. So I constantly hear my students argue about how the Bronx is dirty. And it's usually Brooklyn kids. And sometimes it's Harlem kids, right? Wait, hold on, bro. Um, When did the Bronx and Brooklyn start having beef? Is that like a new thing? This got to be a new thing. And I feel as though it's because of the drill music. Because when I was growing up, we ain't really knew the Bronx existed like that, to be honest with you. Now, we knew the Bronx was good, but... We never ventured to the Bronx. Times have really been changing. Y'all tell me if I'm tripping. The way we grew up in Brooklyn, if you not from down there, you don't go down there. If you don't know nobody over there, you don't go down there, bro. Even within our community, bro, if you don't know nobody on this block, don't go down this block. So to hear this Bronx and Brooklyn beef, like, when, when, when did this start? It's usually Brooklyn kids. But I want you to unpack this for a second because I unpack this for my students all the time. Part of what you got to understand is the Bronx is one of the few places that hasn't been gentrified. Harlem got gentrified first, then Brooklyn has been heavily gentrified. When you have become gentrified, right, when a place becomes gentrified, they pour in money and invest money into those places. That includes cleaning it up, right? But here's the thing. As they clean it up, who comes into place? White folks. Who gets kicked out? People of color. Now, I'm going to argue this case real quick, right? So when those people got kicked out of Harlem, when those people got kicked out of Brooklyn, and when I say people, I'm talking about people of color who could no longer afford to live in those areas, where the hell you think they went? To the South? Where you think they can afford now? To the South? Boo-boo. Nah, 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 boo-boo. The f*** out of here. Don't do that. We not doing that. Yo, I've never heard of the Bronx being dirty until motherfuckers from the Bronx started calling the Bronx dirty. I've met motherfuckers out here, Dominican motherfuckers, from the Bronx, they be like, yeah, the Bronx dirty as hell. I'm not going to lie. Brooklyn dirty too. I'm from Brooklyn. Brooklyn dirty too. But we not finna act like this is leaving Brooklyn and going to the Bronx. Moving to Georgia or they moving to f***ing the Carolinas. Tweaking. They probably came to the, they probably came to the Bronx. No, the f*** they so, didn't. So, at the same token, maybe they brought that dirt with them. If they're exact. If we want to talk like that. But Bro. here's what I do want to say. As somebody who was born and raised in the Bronx, Eden Wall, you know, Bay Chester, Eden Wall. Whatever, son. I want to say this. We need to stop belittling areas of people of color because we got enough battles for ourselves. You just did it. To add to it. You just and did Bronx, it. 
honestly, is one of the flyest places I've ever been. And when I say that, I mean, when you look at it, maybe not. From the outside looking in, you may be like, nah, this shit is trash, right? But there's so much culture and diversity and pride from people that come from the Bronx that you don't find other places. And let me tell you, the food, A1. The food is A1. Now, I know Brooklyn got all this food now and this, that, and the third. I know. Yo. I know that's what happens when penises get gentrified. I get it. Yo! Let's not keep belittling people from the Bronx. Yo, son, I'm and getting every mad. Every time I talk like this as adults. Yo, word to me, I'm getting mad. I want mad. you to understand something. They listening. They hear you. I'm all getting right? mad. And like I said, we got enough battles to face. We don't need another one. We don't need ourselves. You know what? Yo, son, I'm getting mad right now, son. First off, I know from the Bronx. My man Six is from the Bronx. Six is Hispanic, but he looks black. You know what I'm saying? He's um he's Honduran. I forgot what you call him. I don't want to I don't want to mispronounce what the title is. But Shorty really said the culture in the Bronx, you don't find that no place else. Are you Are you are you crazy? Brooklyn is a melting pot. Jamaicans, Grenadians, Africans, Vincentians, Trinidadians, people from the South. My wife, her family's from South Carolina. They moved to Brooklyn. Yo, motherfuckers need to stop trying to give advice when they don't know what the f they talking about. You low-key throwing shade at people from Brooklyn, and I get it, you from the Bronx, but you doing exactly what you complaining them kids is doing. You sound crazy. The Bronx and Brooklyn f dirty. Get the f out of here. I live in Georgia. I've been in Georgia since 2008. When I go back home, bro, I'm like, damn, it look crazy out here. It's just rats running everywhere. It's trash everywhere. But baby, the Bronx is like that too. The Bronx is like that too. That's crazy, bro. That's like two niggas that have dirty ass rooms comparing who rooms is dirtier. You got me hot, bro. It's different cultures in both places. It's more Hispanic people in the Bronx. It's more Caribbean people in Brooklyn. We could say that.